We're gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of family, friends, and brothers and sisters in Christ to join together Timothy Chang and Doris Ho in holy marriage. Congelates in coastal plains Endless views that we're passing through Making our way to a distant place Just us two I, Timothy, take you, Doris, to be my wife, my best friend, and my lifelong partner. You are truly a gift from the Lord and a reminder of His goodness and faithfulness to me through many seasons of doubt and waiting. I vow to constantly pursue you and to love the person that you become as much as I love the person that you are today. I vow to be the best climbing partner and to learn how to belay so that you can top rope at any time. I vow to always hold your hand in times of success and in times of conflict, and to be your greatest supporter and encourager. From this day forward, I vow to love you unconditionally, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. From our first awkward sushi date to today standing here i've only grown to love you more and more each day and i'm excited it will never have to end i promise to respect you and love you and i promise to kill all the bugs in the house <laughs> i vow to always lead you towards christ as you have with me i doris take you tim to be my lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, in plenty or in want, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. Summer nights and it's just you and me dreaming up at all take a breath and let the evening breeze in watching the sun as it falls sit in the dark sit in the silence all of our problems feel small summer nights and you're the one that i dreamed of don't want to wake up at all Each of us here look forward to seeing you many years from now, remaining in this covenant relationship with one another, faithful to one another, faithful to the children that he may bless you with, and faithful to God. May he bless your marriage with his supernatural work.
by the authority vested in me by the Lord Jesus Christ as a minister of the gospel. I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What God has joined, let no man separate. Tim, you've been waiting. You may kiss the bride. From the first moment Doris started telling me about Tim, I could tell this relationship was different, and it was indeed everything we had been praying for. Every time Doris talked to me about Tim, it always pointed back to Christ. And for the first time, I witnessed what it meant to have a relationship that truly glorifies God. Doris, I never thought that I would be able to approve of Tim being with a Penn State and Eagles fan. <laughs> I'm elated that you two found each other and that you have the opportunity to learn, to grow through the ups and the downs of life, to support each other, and just to seek Jesus together. To Tim, I want to welcome you to our very crazy, our very loud, and very loving family. I believe that the best relationships are formed when partners complement each other. You have brought out the very best in my sister. When you were young, and you like to play the Lego, and use the Lego to build the airplane, build the house. Right now, you need to build your new house. Building your house is not easy, but with the Doris help, I know you can make it. Walking Doris down the aisle this afternoon has filled me with immense pride and joy. I'm happy to have been with you every step of the way in your life, and I cannot Wait to see you embark on the next stage of your life with Kim by your side. You can have my mind, you can have